Jeremy, my final question for you is, we know that there's a lot of immigrants coming here in Vancouver. A lot of them are facing some challenges we discussed previously, but what specific tips you can give to newcomers who are coming to Canada to get their first Canadian job? The first, quite, or the first thing I would suggest is l learn the culture, learn the norms. Mm. I mean, if I was going to go to another country, if I was going to immigrate, I think one of the, one of the biggest challenges that I would probably have is, is learning how the norm, the cultural norms of that location are, and then working to integrate myself into that while preserving the things that are unique about me. So someone who's coming to Vancouver, regardless of where you come from, learn the culture and the communication styles or the, the ways that people communicate because if you can't communicate in a common, a common way, it's going to make it very difficult to get your message across, yes. right? So learning and focusing on communication. So depending on what your starting point is, if, it, if, it's, a, if it's a language bar barrier, the first thing I would do is really focus on smoothing out the language barrier because the greater that that is, the more it's going to impede you now, keep in mind, I'm talking from the perspective of a sort of professional uh, office-based yes. type role, whether you're in accounting or engineering or legal or marketing or things of, things of that nature. Um, learn, learning how businesses communicate is a very important thing. I think that's probably one of the things. The other thing that I would be doing is I'd be learning the market, meaning I'd be learning who the major companies and employers are by reading things like business in Vancouver, the, the, the book of lists, yeah. BC business top 100. I'd be going on Google and, and, and looking for lists of organizations to become familiar with the organizations that make up the local economy. So I have an understanding of who's who in my market, just so that I can, that I can navigate. Um, and then we talked about some of these other things in terms of optimizing your resumes for, for your local market. And, and getting involved in the associations that are in your local market as well. But I think communication is a critical thing, Maher, yes, um, and, and learning who some of the employers are just so you have context uh, about how to navigate through your job search. Yeah. And also, if you have that 10 places to 10 companies that you're interested, you know, you can follow them on their social media. As part of networking, you can start, you know, uh, commenting and building relationship and, well, one time I had a guest and he said he was uh, doing posts and commenting on, on, on this company and the recruiter noticed that this guy is always there and he reached out to him asking that what are you looking for and then they hired him because he was contributing and adding value and he showed interest to the company. That's another way that they... Amazing. Can... Yeah. yeah, very good. Very good. And with that, Jeremy, my interview comes to an end. Again, thank you for taking the time to ask you the questions. Uh, for the audience watching, listening, if you have any other tips, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the previous videos, reach to us to our social uh, pl platforms and tune in uh, next time for other great guests I prepared for you. And Jeremy, hopefully when this is over, we can meet over coffee. Sounds great, Mayor. Sounds great. Thank you. Bye, everyone.